here we're going to use the enable section set enable sectioning tools if you want to cut some sectioning or you want to show some sections into your client let's have enable sectioning here we have the plane and we also have the box the box is the box type where you can adjust it to a certain cutting plane you can move it and shift it on the area you want to cut and show you will have a section in the box area now you can also scale it to move it bigger the box you can scale it up scale it on the size and vertical now you can also rotate this box if you want to have an inclined cut you can do it or in an angle cut or in this position or this position now you can set food selection and that will be the model or the cut section within the box so let's you can also save viewpoint let's say you want to save this let's save it as a viewpoint it's set as viewpoint number two enter let's uh, go to planes and let's we want to go to view three we cut this uh, box sections where we have created it using the box uh, cutting tools or sectioning mode now let's go to planes here you have six planes you can set six numbers of planes and allocate each setting let's say plane one let's set it as alignment is on top it means its position on the top of your building let's you can move this to set the position and the location you want and here you can see you can actually want you can push it down vertically so we can cut it up and down from top so if you want to look at something here you can push it up and see the, uh, what is underneath those uh, MLE services. Let's allocate the current one as current plane one as top. Now let's go to plane two, and here it's allocated as bottom. So it's the opposite or invert, invert uh, position or cutting of the uh, section and views. Here you can actually save this view if you want. Here, its plane is typically assigned as let's say plane and it will be typically assigned as the front. So this is the front side. You can do it from front. Then we can actually move this position where we want to cut, and we can actually cut that section on our 3D 3D drawing. So I'm having issues with my positioning. So here let's cut it in front. Let's zoom in. You can push it downward. Now you can see the section from the front view. You can go either left or right. Or you can position it going inside. Now you can also rotate this in which direction you want to cut. Let's say this one. Just collect the arc and move it into position if you want to do that. This section you can actually look at it, and if you want to look at the left, uh, other section, which is the left section, you can actually cut it into that view. Just uh, actually, just make it the transition smoother. Sometimes when you, it's this uh, there's an issue with using this uh, cube when we are aligning when we are aligning this uh, view so it's, i think it's much better to use the orbit you can easily push it rather than uh, we are going to another display where we are getting lost with the view so again we have the plane four, which is the back you can set it from the section from the back and push it up so let's move it and set the once this arrow has highlighted you, then you can drag it let's also go to plane 5 you can also drag it set the move once you unselect the move the display xy display will be invisible you have to select it again and make sure it works 
So even if the rotate command, it shows, but once you unselect the rotate command, it's all automatically triggered. So then you can order it and cut the session. And here, let's say you want to save this, you can save point. Here is number four, you can rename it as you wish. Uh, let's cut level uh, 26, let's move it. Let's cut a section from that is typically the right one. Right side elevation. Here we can also assign this with a different uh, position. Let's say uh, align to surface. We want to align to this surface. Then the section will be aligned to that surface. So here, you can zoom in and cut it from this surface, following that surface alignment. You can also set it to align to black line. You want to pick a line. Uh, align to me. And align to black. Okay, select a line. There's actually no line here, so we cannot select it. So basically, that is the use of the enable sectioning. Once you uncheck this enable, section in two, it will result, it will return back to its original uh, model which is the full view of your model so once you click the enable sectioning again it will cut to the last current cutting section mode that we have you can go to play one or you can go automatically to your same view mode if you want to go back and check and review anything that you have missed out on this particular previous sections you have created. So that is how to use the enable enabling enable section tools.